Graphic new details of abuse revealed in a bond hearing today for Elwin Crocker Sr. and Mark Anthony Wright. The two are part of a group of five adults facing murder charges for Mary Crocker and Elwin Crocker Jr. WJCL's Kyle Jones was in the courtroom today and she's at the Update Center with what we're learning about the treatment of one of those children. That's right, guys, we're hearing firsthand those new details of starvation and more. The judge denying bond for the two after hearing what was allegedly done to 14 year old Mary Crocker. Now a grand jury will hear it. And we want to warn you that some of the details may be sensitive for some of our viewers. Elwin Crocker and Mark Anthony Wright making their first appearances today in an Effingham County courtroom. The two seeking bond for murder charges in the deaths of Crocker's children, Mary and Elwin Jr. The focus today was on Mary and the abuse she allegedly faced leading up to her death. Her father detailing it to investigators during interviews. Did it admit that Mary Crocker was in fact kept in a dog kennel, naked, in the kitchen, in the common area of the house, and was zip tied so that she would not get out? The alleged abuse continued for a lengthy amount of time, according to investigator Abby Brown. She says Mary was starved, tased, and beaten for not exercising, not doing chores, and stealing food. Defense attorney Martha Hall says her client, Mark Anthony Wright, knew nothing about the abuse, saying Wright was in and out of the home. He allegedly heard Crocker arguing with another family member, saying Mary was dead, so Wright called his aunt for help. Tony called me, terrified to go home from something he heard, um, and he was so shaken and sobbing so bad. I said, do you want me? to call the police with you, and he said yes. The witnesses and Wright's attorney pointed to his cooperation with police, his steady employment, and his claim to know nothing about the abuse for reasons for bond. Crocker's defense made no claim for bond, and after more than an hour of arguments, Judge Peed quickly denied both. The case now heads to a grand jury for possible indictments. Now we started to hear allegations and we're still waiting to learn more about Elwin Crocker Jr's abuse and the roles of his stepmother, her mother and another man in this case. In the studio, Kyle Jones, WJCL 22 News. Again, five people facing charges in the murder investigation. Track the latest on this developing investigation on air and online at WJCL.com.